just had England's strongest woman. I mean, this is a, the last of the nation shows we've had with Ultimate Strongman. The Ultimate Strongman season of 2022. And I have to say, this has probably been the greatest season of them all. It has been the greatest season. We've taken it on a big tour, uh, you know, to, to every nation. And everyone's delivered. And we've had the weather as well, which has been amazing. Another hot day. Has, and we were in the Warrington World Stadium, um, the rugby stadium, oh. they call them the, the Halliwell Jones Stadium, in fact, um, home of the Warrington World rugby team. And we had strong women in this stadium gathered today. Eight of the strongest women were here gathered um, to take England's strongest woman title. And what an event it was. We had event number one, the Anvil Farmers Walk. An event which is very, very technical for these girls. Yeah. It's a, a bit of a horn, a bit of a really, really thick horn that they have to grab with their hands. There was two in fact, one in each hand, had to be lifted and carried up a 25 meter course. They had 75 seconds to complete this course, but as we could see, uh, once the grip goes, the grip goes. Yeah, it does, yeah. It's a really, uh, it's a hard event. Um, it's hard for anyone. But you, you've got to have a big hand, and it, I mean, if you had a hand the size like mine, you'd have no chance at all. You can't get that hand around maybe, anything. Maybe you have the same size of hand as the women. No, 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 they've got bigger <laughs> hands than me, and that's, that's no disrespect. Uh, I've got very small hands. I'll, I'll be absolutely useless. I ain't got a strength anyway. But it, it, listen, fantastic displays of strength there. There definitely was, and all of the girls, in fact, with a bit of an inexperience in this event, actually yeah. finished this, which was unbelievable to see. And it come down to a bit of a sprint. <coughs> Lucy Underdown was the winner of the Anvil Farmers Walk with 6.63 for 25 metres running with that kind of wow. weight is impressive. That's really impressive and, and Lucy Underdown announcing herself into the competition. Number two was the deadlift for Max. Um, we had the deadlift world record holder Lucy Underdown, 300 kilos, the first woman ever to compete yeah. and, and to lift that kind of weight which was impressive done in the UK's strongest man in 2021 yeah. in Keynes. Um, and we had starting from 180 kilos to 200 kilos, 220 and there were some girls who managed to lift a massive 230 kilos. Wow. Uh, 230 kilos was lifted by Katie Smith, Naomi Hadley, and Lucy Underdown. Um, two girls I haven't really heard of. Naomi Hadley was actually the defending England's strongest woman um, today. Um, so yep. it was her title up for grabs today, and she put up a, a good fight in that den of getting 230 yep. kilos. And another girl, Katie Smith, really, really built woman in this event. Bit of a yeah. powerhouse. Yeah, she's a powerhouse. She's done 230 kilos as well. Really, really impressive. Well, a partner's Rob Frampton, so they train together a lot. Rob's got fantastic pedigree and strong man. You know, you won't get no better than Rob as a trainer. As I say, they train together. And she's been grafting, grafting and grafting uh, to get the numbers on the deadlift. And, and you know, she deserves that. And Ruth, she done really well. Both Naomi and Katie, both um, secured second place in that event because the winner was 240 kilos, a bit of a speed rep, and that's no disrespect to all the other athletes. Yeah. I mean, the world record holder, Missy Underdown, 240 kilos. Uh, there's, um, there's something very special about her deadlift. Uh, it, it must be, obviously, she's got the strength, the technique. I, I don't even know how to describe it, but she makes everything look effortless and easy at times, uh, with the exception of the 300, which she did have to work for, clearly. Um, it's just amazing. It's just it's just amazing. And she just keeps, you know, she'll never, she, I don't think she can be beaten at deadly. You know, I mean, fair to say. Well, hopefully in the UK, Strongest Woman um, coming up very soon next year. We'll see if any of the world's strongest woman, Becca Roberts, get your yeah. lift up and see if you can take, you see, Lucy's coming. Yeah, absolutely. Lucy's coming for that title. Event number three was the sandbag, the service sandbag toss medley with tw five bags had to be tossed over a 13 foot platform. I mean, this was an absolute jaw-dropping event, a really explosive event. Five of these bags from 12 um, kilos up to a massive 18 kilo bag, which hadn't actually been tossed over this no. um, kind of height by any of the nations that we've had last. We had Ireland's Strongest Woman um, a couple of weeks ago, and I think Aya Shaula won that event. Um, at, at a, the strongest woman around yep. and she wasn't able to do it very very close but we did have someone today and it was Lucy Underdown. Yep. Lucy Underdown five of the bags 18 kilo bag went over over that bar in 1962 and I done a bit of a, a bit of a short video earlier on and I said um, some of them bags were just flying off at my camera screen you couldn't even yep. see them yep. they were going that high. Going into orbit <laughs> coming down with snow on them well they were. not in this weather. Yeah so 1962 for Lucy was really really impressive. A girl I want to give a bit of a special shout out to was Becca Worgan. 
four bags in 33.72. She really went for that yeah. last bag as well. Um, but really impressive performance from her. Yeah, really impressive. I mean, do you know what? <laughs> you know, there's nothing you can say. She just, she just grafted out that. No doubt about it. She did, and I have to say, she has really, really impressive bucket hats. Apparently, she said she's made, she made her own ultimate strongman bucket hat today. And I'm sure we want to get our hands on some of them. Yeah, we do. They look fantastic. <laughs> the bucket hats are brilliant. Send yeah. us a mic, want a yeah. bucket hat. Yeah, we do, yeah. <laughs> Event number four was the dumbbell press, the Trish Porter dumbbell, 42 kilos. This event has been an actually in all of the women's um, yeah. events in, in memory of Trish. Um, I mean, and this this dumbbell is just not it's not pretty. It was originally pink, Martin, but we actually got changed to a silver dumbbell. Yeah, silver. what was the reason for the change in colour? It's actually me. I changed it. I don't, I don't even know. I think it just I think it looks apart. But I mean, for the for the ladies, we like the pink, but. Um, I suppose we're trying to hide the, the prettiness behind it. Yeah, it's yeah. Not well, exactly well, it's, pretty. It's, it's not pretty to lift. <laughs> I know that. I mean, the nations have struggled. Everyone has. They have, and there was there were some girls. There were three girls, in fact, wasn't weren't able to lift that um, 42 kilo dumbbell. Um, but the winner of the event, and we keep going on about her all day. Um, fourth event, win of the day, Lucy Underdown. Yeah, seven the pattern rep developing. Seven yeah. repetitions in the dumbbell. And we did see Gail McComstey um, of Ireland do that sort of rep yeah. repetitions before as well. So it's great to see that kind of standard. Seven reps in 75 seconds is fast. That's very, very fast, no question. It just shows how, how well rounded Lucy is. Um, she's renowned for her deadlift, but is clearly working on her pressing as well. Absolutely. Do you know what? It, it, it's interesting you say that. I mean, I said in an interview with Lucy, you know, everyone knows her for her deadlift. Um, she announced herself onto the scene, you know, so to speak, um, you know, with that 300 kilo deadlift. She can deadlift. But can she, you know, can she put it together? And she says she's not just about a deadlift. She's Lucy Underdown, the strong woman. You know, and that's what she wanted to come here today and prove. And I think, we'll see, yeah. but I think she's done that. And a special shout out goes to Chloe Brennan. Chloe Brennan, oh. a, a bit of a late call up thing with Strongest Woman. And I was really excited to see Chloe here yeah. today because she's, she's a numerous world record holder in the Denny Stones. Yeah, I she is. Um, and again, she wants, she's, she wants to set her name for herself. She's she's renowned for the Denny Stones, but again, she wants to be renowned for being a strong woman. And she does five repetitions in another kind of an opposite kind of strength. Yeah, yep. the press five repetitions in the dumbbell press with Chloe Brennan was awesome. That is brilliant, Chloe Brennan. I've known Chloe for a long, long time, and she's never ever failed to deliver. Um, she's a fantastic ambassador for strong woman, and you know she's someone I, I do know about. And uh, you know what? With a bit more notice, a bit more training, wow, you know, this competition, you know, she, she's she's a contender. She definitely is a contender. And in event number five, the classic Atlas Stones, Stones of Strength, the McGlashan Stones, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> if you want to win England's Strongest Woman or any of the major titles out there, you've got to put on all five of these stones. And these stones have been absolute havoc for all of our athletes over the course of the 2022 season because none of these girls have been able to put on this 130 kilo stone. No. We've had. Um, We've had the world's strongest woman, Rebecca Roberts, but actually in Scotland we had Laura Baxter was able to put this stone on. Yep. So there are girls out there, but it has proved to be a really, really difficult event because of the size of these stones. Aren't? You don't want it to be easy, Marcus. You know, you don't want it to be easy. You, you, you know, with all due respect, you, you want it to be, you know, you, you want it to be, uh, it, it's got to be a struggle. You know, you can't have something that everyone's popping up left, right and centre. You know, the fact that they're not getting this stone up in general, uh, it just shows how hard it is. And you've got to remember where this is in the competition as well. This is right at the end. And the way these competitions have been laid out is that last event, they have to wait. And I always say this, that's really tough. Because, you know, you can do events too fast, but you can also do them too slow. And this would fall under the too slow category. And the, none, no one is complaining about it because we want to showcase that final event, you know, in front of when everyone's in with the men and exactly where it should be, you know. But... It's fair to the women, they're getting on with it, and as I say, it's a long day for them. It is a long day, um, and it was during the, the halftime, um, kind of at the end of the show, um, we had these stones on display. And there was two girls, in fact, finished the stones. Katie Smith with the five stones of 35-49, but five, win, five wins out of five for Lucy Underdown. Yeah. Five stones in 30-07. I mean, this girl is definitely coming for UK Strongest Woman title. Yeah, she is. Uh, you know, she's placed, she's placed quite a lot 
in competition up to this. And Lucy needed to win. You know, so but you know, it's all right, but, you know, coming, you know, going third or whatever you're gonna be, coming second. Do you know what? She needed a win. She deserved a win. And she, as I said, she she's got a saying, and I, I, I got told this by her friends. Um, she doesn't want to be the underdog. She wants to be the underdown. And it's quite, it's very true. You know what? She's announced herself, Lucy Underdown. Welcome to the party because I tell you what, she's coming for UK strongest woman. Yeah. No doubt about it. And. Uh... In third place, let's go for the kind of the overall stand. Yeah. Third place was the Pocket Rockets, Shannon Clifford, um, with 24 points. In Fantastic in, display from Shannon really, as well. You've got to really, say that. really consistent. Yeah. Um, in second place, Kitty Smith. You, you talk quite a lot uh, about in the way she's coached at the minute. It's clearly paying off. 27 points in second place. Katie, massive, massive props to Katie. She, she's really, do you know what? She grafts. She grafts hard. Like, like all the girls do, but do you know what? She grafts. And she's getting, she's now reaping the rewards. Another strong woman that's announced herself onto the scene. Here she is, she's kicked the door open. Welcome, you know what I mean? Katie deserves, deserves it, without a doubt. And the winner and crowned England's strongest woman and oh, going on to UK strongest woman now, the Tryon and Dave Throne, Becca Roberts. Yep. Is Lucy underdone with 40 points, five event wins out of five, an absolute flawless performance. Well done, Lucy. Well done, Lucy. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe below, and let's see some great comments of what you'd like to see. And if you want to go to an Ultimate Strongman show, get your tickets, ultimatestrongman.tv, and we'll see you there.